Oh, it's a nice one, Steve. It is. It's Another a dandy. A real hog. So while you're reeling this guy in, while you're battling him, why don't we tell a little bit about the Crixias? Kind of why we're fishing them, you know, when they come out and hatch, all the rest of that kind it's, of fun stuff. It, the, the hatch is, is not really a hatch, it's a mating flight. And it happens in the fall, usually just after the first frost okay. triggers it. And you get these beautiful days where you get that nice flat fall light. Because it is right now, it's September 16th, uh -huh. and we're at a beautiful lake up here in the Caribou, and uh, it is, it's phenomenal Crixia fishing. Yeah, they're, uh, they're not flying as thick as they were the other day than when I was here, but, uh, but they are starting to fly now. Oh, that's the key. And, and plus it was a little windier early, and I think they like the flatter water too. I think they could break the surface tension in the water a little easier. I think that's what it is, and, and they, they like this nice, calm, sunny day, and it's usually peaks at the zenith when the sun's way above you. Yeah, beautiful. And usually goes all afternoon and then quits when the sun drops behind the yard arm there. And <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's get this guy in and have a peek at him. If you ever want to come up and get some nice fish like this, come to this area. Contact Steve at Little Fort Fly and Tackle or even uh, Al Long, one of his partners down at the Kamloops Fly Shop. They got a ton of information and they'll put you onto these great lakes. There he is. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a real That's a hog. beauty. Look at how thick he is. Wow. And uh, <laughs> that nice little water boatman just caught right in the scissors there. Barbless hooks, Barbless as always. Hooks. It'll just pop right out. There he is. Oh. And we'll just lift him up for people to look at. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby. Got him? Yeah, we go. Oh, look at how about that. that. Look at how thick he is, too. <laughs> that's a big, healthy oh, fish. That's a beautiful fish. Where you go, baby? Beautiful. There he goes, right to the bottom. Hey, hey. All right. Excellent. Well, you know what? That pattern is absolutely smoking. Why don't we uh, head to the bench right now and tie it up? You betcha. You don't mind showing everybody? No. It's, uh, it's my own pattern, but yeah. uh, I think it's time to share it. Excellent. Let's go to the bench and you'll see one of these great Crixia patterns. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, today I'm joined by Steve Jennings of the Camel's Fly Shop. And you're going to tie me up a... The Jennings Ultimate Boatman. The Jennings Ultimate Boatman. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a TMC 9300 size 10. We'll use some 6 aught olive brown thread. We'll use a half inch tan foam body. We'll use some Panatone pens for the body coloring. We'll use some medium olive span flex for the legs. Some Dave's Flex Cement for the back coating. And some Aqua Seal for the belly coating. So we're ready to start the fly, and uh, what's our first step? Well, we're going to take a half inch foam body, which is a pre-made body, and we're going to uh, slice it and color it, color the underside with our Pantone pen and the olive color, and you do one side first, and then you can do the other side. And now we're going to slice a uh, slit down the, uh, the length of the body and two little slits for the legs to sit in. Okay. And we've got a specially modified um, razor blade to do that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to make a slice down to the point. Then we're going to slice our legs, slots for our legs, about halfway down the body with about a five degree angle towards the front. Now that we have the body cut, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to put my glasses on because I can see, and oh, we're hooks. going to put um, the thread onto the hook and then come back about halfway along. Okay, now we're going to put in our legs and uh, we'll take a length of the span flex and we're going to double it over and cut it and then double over again and cut it. Now we're going to measure where our legs are going to go. So we've got a little slot in our body and we just make sure that the thread is right at that point with the front of the body against the eye of the hook. So that's right. Now we put our leg in and try to get it more or less at the right angle. We do a nice soft loop just to hold it in and another soft loop and then come back and do a couple of soft loops the other way and then we bring our thread back to the front of the hook and at this point we can 
whip finish. Now we're going to put a little bit of Aqua Seal. We'll squeeze a little bit out of the tube and just prick it up on a needle. And then we just spread that along the hook, like so. And now we put our body on to the hook by bending it like that and just pushing up and the hook sits into the little slot that's made for it. And then just a little pull on the flex, span flex. Now we're gonna pick up a little bit bigger glob of Aqua Seal on the end of our needle, about an eighth of an inch diameter. I'm gonna coat the whole back. Aqua Seal is very sticky and uh, can't be handled, so get a piece of styrofoam packing from your audio equipment and just pop the fly into that and leave that to dry overnight. Excellent. And uh, now we have one that has dried overnight and we're just gonna clamp it in a pair of forceps so that we can handle it now. And we're gonna trim our legs to the correct length. And the way that we're gonna do that is you're gonna push the legs forward until they cross about five-eighths of an inch away from where they come out of the body and just snip at the cross point. Okay, now we take our chartreuse um, Pantone pen and we color the head of the fly. Now we take our black Pantone pen. We make our marking on the back. It's kind of like a wine glass shape. And a couple of the markings at the back and a little bit down the side. And now we take our red Pantone pen and we make our eyes. And now uh, there's one more step. Run a black streak down there on top of the Aqua Seal. Our last step on this fly is to get some Dave's Flex Cement. And I thin this down a little bit, about 75% uh, Flex Cement, 25% thinner. And you get a bead of uh, the uh, Flex Cement and you just coat the back like this, carefully not to touch the legs. You don't want this stuff on the legs, but you just coat the back. And when this dries, it gives a dusky look, like a, a satin look. And it also helps to seal in that Pantone color. And there it is, the finished Jennings Ultimate Boatman. Beautiful. This fly really comes into its own during the fall uh, when the boatmen are doing their mating flights. Excellent, well, thanks for the tie. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned, got some more great action coming right up.